Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Tropical Gangsters podcast. Really a little cold evening here, guys, but really excited. We have an amazing topic to be talking about and uh, something that a lot of people are talking and some that people, they, they actually don't know. So we're going to be talking about what's Q4 and why do you need to plan ahead to take advantage of this moment in time. So guys, it's a really important you know question, a really important subject, a really important uh, topic. So let's just you know open the conversation for people that first they don't know what Q4 is and uh, then we can jump on you know what are our thoughts and why you know planning for this moment in time and of the year uh, it's the best time so uh, based on your experience brother what's Q4 Q4 is fourth quarter basically <laughs> that's it thank you so much that's it guys <laughs> if you enjoy this episode <laughs> no no it's basically the the fourth quarter of the year and um, you know, it's going to be December, November, October. I'm going back. Uh, September. September, yeah. September. It literally yeah. starts October, today. November. Starts oh, now. oh, it starts today. Yeah. yeah. September today is first. Of, yeah. 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 So it's the last part of the year. And this is where people, you know, they have their, their wallets out looking to buy Christmas gifts, uh, going on trips. Pretty buying much mode. The buy buying mode, it starts like popping in their heads, man. Yeah. They, they are in, in buying mode. And... Um, and as marketers, we definitely can take advantage of that because, you know, it's our job to market our products, to persuade people to buy our stuff. But when they have their wallets out, it's a lot easier know, to it, persuade. It's a lot easier uh, to get those sales and retire. <laughs> <laughs> you can retire faster. <laughs> but um, but also we have the counterpart, which is that there's more competition, right? Yeah. So yeah. we have people with more intentions to buy stuff, but then we have more marketer sharks more going, competition yeah more, sure. more sharks um going after sales so um yeah i mean it's um planning ahead in from in my opinion is very important because you wanna you wanna see how you can differentiate from all those hungry marketers in this in this time of the year and um and just make a kick-ass plan uh, with with your hot products hot deals hot discounts if you're gonna use discounts um so yeah i mean from it's also like a nice opportunity to anticipate like the 2021 you know like mm -hmm. to prepare um your audience for what is coming in the next year yeah. because actually people are like in buying mode so like in general they're like in a buying behavior mm -hmm. yeah yeah so like david like just to bring you up to the conversation like in, in your experience what would be kind of the like act like steps or things to take into account in Q4, like a specific amount of like dates, holidays specifically, and why, you know, people should leverage those dates to start generating sales. Yeah, I mean, uh, in my opinion, it's really important like to start like planning, like of course, before it starts, because it happened to me like the, when I was just like first getting started with e-commerce and all that stuff, I started like planning Q4 on Q4, you know? <laughs> on December. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, on Christmas. Actually, actually, today is already Q4, so. So, yeah, I think that's a, a common mistake that a lot of people, they just like wait till like literally like Q4 starts uh, mm -hmm. in order to start planning. So I think that, when you do that, it's like kind of like harder to get like a more solid plan because I mean, you are not like having like enough time to plan, you know? So as this is like one of the most like important like part of the years, I think that first at all, like at least like in my opinion, like planning like one month ahead, you know, like I think that 30 days is like a, a good uh, like amount of time to start planning. But, but yeah, just like start thinking about like the most important ones like of course like christmas like uh black friday black friday exactly Thanksgiving, like cyber, cyber Monday. mondays is, is also on those because, halloween yeah halloween. halloween there's like these are basically a bunch of excuses to yep. make more offers <laughs> yeah yeah to Literally. sell more and buy yeah. more yeah because you tell people hey uh, halloween deal and then they're like oh a new thing and then halloween yeah. over hey um Cyber Monday deal, and then it's like you justify all the time. Oh, so, and yeah. it's crazy! Like at least here in Costa Rica, there's like like literally a lot of people like waiting for the whole year just like for Black Friday, and oh man, I mean, yeah, I mean it's like terrible. I have seen that in Costa Rica. It's almost like the exact same thing, well, you know. But people yeah. just go crazy because it's like Black Friday or discount or whatever. So yeah, it's a it's a really good like uh like opportunity to to sell more but but they just they just increase the prices and then yeah. say 50 percent off yeah, yeah. like at yeah. least in the mall 
yeah, yeah no, well, man, it's, normal it's price weird. is two hundred dollars, and then on Black Friday it's like okay, yeah, old price two hundred and fifty. Yeah, take it now for two hundred and ten. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, they're making more profit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you, you guys make like a really important point. You know, like there, there are gonna be you know people that are just gonna you know raise their 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 price by fifty percent and just you know try to you know sell it at the same price that they had like a month before. But let's see, like, what would be the best way to um, stay ahead of the curve? And take advantage of this time because you know the competition what what would be the the for example if, if q4 started today well generally the the most heavy load of of the month is going to be in october right so what will you do now this th next 30 days that you have time to prepare what action plan will you you know give out to all this uh, audience that is listening to us for me, I would I would plan, but like on my side, I wouldn't like be telling people, "Hey, get ready in three months when Black Friday is here." I would plan like on a document. Okay, what's gonna be my irresistible offer? When am mm -hmm. I gonna start it? For how long will it run? So okay, so pre-launch is gonna be two weeks before Black Friday. Then Black Friday release the deal, and then from there, how many um, weeks or days is, is it gonna be open? Yeah. And then what is gonna be the deal, right? Because I think one of the biggest um, one of the biggest uh, factors is to make like a legit deal. Like mm -hmm. if, if people are used all year, they're used to $100 price and you bring a legit $50 discount and they can get it for 50 bucks and then it closes and people see you're serious about it, they will buy it. Because I remember last year I make a, they remember the Black Friday deal? <laughs> Man, it was yeah. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a legit deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was from a product from 497 to 297 but people then i increased it right yeah but but yeah man it was crazy <laughs> sebastian retire on black friday <laughs> okay so so planning uh crafting your offer a legit a legit offer because yeah. anyone can craft a, a and pe pe people offer. are smart i mean people know when you're like trying to to i don't know like to Just over sneaky. smart them so yeah do the opposites of what malls are doing so really like for example if this is hundred dollars you give it at 50 or yeah, being 40 honest bucks. with the offer okay so yeah. don't scam people on black friday they will know yeah. i mean never but <laughs> <laughs> just on christmas okay so stay away from david guys stay away from fabian <laughs> yeah i'm from fabian actually <laughs> you yeah, will be scamming like <laughs> the rest of the year <laughs> <laughs> you see a deal on his birthday then don't buy don't, don't buy, buy it. It. it's actually <laughs> cheaper on black friday <laughs> well you never know man Cal marketer's <laughs> calendar that's the beauty of it so th that's actually something that you know we, we can give uh you know like a little value for for people you know like how important it is to not only let's say like have this yeah like we talked about um let's say halloween we talked about thanksgiving we talked about christmas like how can people get organized like for example if my brand was selling let's say fashion items um what would you guys let's say like what roadmap will you like tell people like okay do i have to come up with uh, with angles do i have to come up with the creative do i have to come up with the store do i have to come up with the funnels like how can people get prepared based on this example of let's take like a fashion brand like the, the sexy stuff so what i would do is first make a list of like literally all the resources that you, that you have then like for example for a fashion brand um, what you can do is like launch, like pre-launch or create like a pre-launch list um, of a specific collection that is going to release on, let's say, Halloween. Mm -hmm. So, for example, let's say that you have a fashion brand and you're going to and you're going to create like a Halloween Halloween collection, something like that. So what you can do is like maybe create like a, I don't know, like a giveaway to create like a massive list building uh, to pre-launch the like the collection and then on and then of course you pre-launch it with in all the like the different channels email social media and everything and then the release date you announce the winner you already have like a list of people that are waiting and there man that's when you go crazy with the prices or offers or things that you want to you want to add Kay. yeah the pre-launch list is is key man because yeah. it's the um, it's gonna be cheaper yeah, yeah and also what what people can do is that they can build a pre-launch list so they can like advertise the pre-launch list <laughs> mm -hmm. and say okay if you're the pre-launch list you're gonna be the first one to get access but also someone in the pre-launch list or 10 people from the pre-launch list will win this bundle yeah so. or, or uh, yeah exactly like give them something uh maybe like uh like, like a, a bait um, yeah make th make them feel exclusive yeah like mm -hmm. you're by being part of this you're gonna be able to i don't know to get this extra or this gift or you're going to be able to buy 
this collection that is just mm-hmm. gonna be shown to the to the pre-launch li- to the mm-hmm. pre-launch list. So maybe like a I don't know like an image with a blur and with people feel like I don't know like a little of curiosity so they can be part of it. Yeah, like there it's needs really, there really needs smart. to be like a, like a bait for the pre-launch list. Yeah, because mm-hmm. just like obviously people want to be some people want to be the really the first ones to be notified, but but people are lazy in general, right? Yeah. So. So you need to give, okay, be the first one to be notified as soon as we launch on Black Friday. And if you join the pre-launch list, you're gonna get X, Y, and Z. So you get all these people in and then your your marketing campaigns are gonna be, by the way, also, also something I, I did recently was to tell people that once we launch the program, not only will they be the first one to be notified, they will be the only ones to be able to register. Mm-hmm. So it's, you advertise the pre-launch and then you get people in and then you tell them, okay, in the launch date, only you guys will be able to purchase. The The official launch date will be later on. And um, and, and basically once you open, you only advertise to the pre-launch list guys. And uh, and then for maybe what, a week, I think a week is enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did it for two, but maybe a week is enough. Yeah. And after that, you open the doors to everyone and, and the pre-launch list uh, people feel special because no one else could buy during their special time. Yeah, maybe something that can be done is like, for example, let's say that you have a, like a Shopify store and let's say that you can close it and you'll say like, if only if you are part of the pre-launch, li- uh, the pre-launch, pre-launch <laughs> list, you will be able to have the password to get in the store and see what, like what's there. You know, oh like yeah, that's, that's a cool like, yeah, like to give some, some curiosity there. And lock box. <laughs> that's really interesting. Yeah, you guys have, uh, have come up with, um, <clears throat> with great strategies and definitely list building, planning. Um, that, that's actually pretty smart because like generally people, what they will do, just they will just go straight to purchase, you know, generally in October, uh, testing audiences, <laughs> angles and ads and, you know, funnels in that specific um, like moment. And it's going to be the most expensive time during the year to yeah, be testing actually, stuff. Actually, uh, what you're saying, it makes a lot of sense because uh, people, this is what the a typical mistake from someone that's... Uh, starting out so everyone starts posting on facebook groups hey guys guys quick pause if you're finding this episode valuable be sure to go to tropicalgangsterscall.com to schedule a call with us to see how we can help you out tell us what you're struggling with what you want to achieve and we'll create a personalized game plan for you so go to tropicalgangsterscall.com and hope you keep enjoying the episode thank you for his coming get ready and then people are starting out they go and test 20 products on Q4, Q4. <laughs> so no I'm, I'm list, no pre-launch, no nothing. So I'm instead of getting the benefits, they get all the pain from yeah. all Q, the Q4. Cost. The ideal thing is to work with your audience. Yeah, not not trying to get new ones, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So so uh, yeah, like all like audience building is part of the planning. Yeah. yeah. So Preparing. building audience, and then on Black Friday on Q4 you take advantage of all that audience but dude starting a new audience in, in q4 it's even worse actually i mean <laughs> yeah. i would much rather build an audience in a q1 <laughs> than yeah. q4 dude it's so the, expensive the, yeah the the best way to grow an audience in q4 will be at least for me if i had to i'll just create one great video and i'll just run it for 30 days just growing the audience mm-hmm. and i'll just remark it with website conversions mm-hmm. yeah. and you know I'll, I'll get like the cheapest views i can then you know create lookalikes from people that uh, i don't know add it to cart uh, amount of percentage of people uh, time spent on the site and start building from there uh, but i'll definitely not test cold traffic with website conversion ads in q4 yeah. please guys <laughs> yeah save yourselves and also man if you make even like if you make um, you get 1000 customers from the pre-launch and audience building and all this do it and, and you and you charge a hundred bucks i mean it's very doable like you yeah. you get a thousand sales for a hundred bucks each and, and you build maybe a pre-launch list of ten thousand people if you plan ahead since september yeah dude a hundred k launch it's very very possible yeah. now yeah. you will have to spend money to build that but yeah. dude even if you spend 20k to make a hundred k just yeah, make it worth it. And, and this is and this, and this is one great way of looking at it because like you're 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 um, growing an audience, you're monetizing from an audience. But if you're doing things right, if you're you know implementing branding, if you're implementing really great user experience, great customer experience, you can leverage, you know, um, Thanksgiving. You can leverage. Oh, sorry, let's go back. You can leverage Halloween. If, you, if they had a really good experience in Halloween, they they're gonna buy in Thanksgiving. 
yeah. or they're gonna buy in Black Friday, or they're gonna buy in Cyber Monday. Like if they bought in, in Black Friday and you did a really great job and you were able to deliver in two days, bro, th and there's no way they're gonna not gonna buy on Cyber Monday. They're probably gonna buy and then boom, again, you use one list to remarket the whole quarter and you're basically saving yourself a lot of money mm -hmm. on Facebook advertising, yeah. at least from my personal perspective. I have seen like these people that they have like this, for me it's like kind of a cool strategy, you just want to like see your thoughts on this, but there's like some people just like preparing their audience maybe like one month before or something like that. For example, they are planning to bring a new t-shirt for uh, Halloween. So they make yeah. a post like, okay, so which one would you like kind of a quiz or content, just like contest? just like to see like maybe what would be like more appealing to their audience yeah, so that's what great. do you think about that man that's really great idea honestly like if you have a, a like a trustworthy list like people that trust you people that follow you yeah. asking them questions this is the best way to get in them what they want it's, it's the easiest way to just sell them whatever they need or what what they're desiring so imagine if for example um the tropical gangsters had a let's say like a print on demand store and we were selling the holiday, uh, say the Halloween t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That would be a great way of, you know, just again, we, we can even show the designs here in the podcast. Yeah. Hey guys, just let us know in the comments, which design do you like? Boom, immediate information, straight mm -hmm. to the sale. No, and I think it's a cool way also like to create some awareness before it happens and also like to kind of validate your product or whatever offer that you are like doing, you know, because at least you are making people to take a decision so i think it's a cool way also like to validate some creating a poll will be great so yeah, you can know oh poll. yeah so based on this poll uh 20 like this 10 like this and the rest like this exactly mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and also also uh, a lot of people that watch this video that will watch this video uh will be in q4 right like in the <laughs> middle of q4 so they're gonna be like oh shit man i'm late <laughs> but what Next i would do man, this year yeah <laughs> no what i would do if i was late let's say because a lot of people are literally going to watch this on Black Friday, right? Custom audiences right yeah. now. No, no, no. What I would do, <laughs> dude, I would just I would just forget about, let's say, if you're watching this on Black Friday and you think you're late and you don't have an audience, I would just forget about Black Friday and then focus on Christmas. Christmas, yeah. So you say, okay, I miss Black Friday, but I'm going <laughs> to... <Yeah. I'm> <laughs> like shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's say that the you... The next holiday. <laughs> next yeah, year. Which is Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so you say, okay in one month it's gonna be christmas so i'm gonna forget about black friday build my audience for 20 days 30 days and then boom christmas yeah because it's better man it's it's if, if people people just they get like desperate with with q4 this is something <laughs> yeah, i've seen it's like q4 i'm gonna, I'm gonna get a loan and test 100 products right and it's like it can go really wrong so it's better to focus Think to plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. i have a great question because like we we've all uh, you know went through several q4s now and we've talked about the the to do's but let's talk about the do not right um so based on your experience what has been the worst experience that you have achieved or what you have you know experience in q4 just because you didn't know so what you will you give guillermo five years ago i um, to be honest i have learned a lot from <laughs> students I made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually i'm perfect so <laughs> no no i the, the most uh, lessons that i get are, are actually sometimes from my students because sometimes i get people that they say like hey man this is q4 uh can you give me like a list of products to test and i was like man that's that like the worst thing i mean it's you're having like the like the wrong mindset because people feel that q4 is like an atm where you put in and then you get out. And for me, the, the, the most um, common mistake and the biggest one is having like that mindset. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not like an ATM. It's like an opportunity to give your audience something that they want, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's an opportunity, yeah, it's, yeah, man. Because if you, if you start testing like crazy, you don't, and you don't have any audience, yeah. it's gonna be like, like, like gambling man yeah it's like like not not planning is like that do not like definitely do not plan i mean th don't feel that like q4 is like an atm it's like an atm atm season because it's it's not like that okay i mean it could be a really good or really bad yeah, yeah. like it, <laughs> it, it, it can be an atm if you plan yeah yeah and also people that that you know start making these screenshots because we always see them screenshots of 100k days in black friday and things mm -hmm. like that that the, what people don't see is number one, they already had a, a product that was working. Mm -hmm. Product, service, offer. Number two, chances are they already had an audience. Obviously, mm, really there's gonna be some cases where people don't have an audience and they were, I mean, 
They were sometimes, lucky. Dude, sometimes happy. they're lucky, man. Like yeah. two weeks before, they got <laughs> a winning product and, and turns out the third week was Black Friday and boom, it's, they, they hammered it, right? Yeah. But um, for the most part, people that crush it, they have audiences, they already had like validation and they were planning that moment for a long time and it was not just like luck. Mm -hmm. no. it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was luck with the plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For me, <laughs> the most important luck. thing is like having that plan because I mean, and also like with good time ahead. Because if you are just like start planning on Q4, like right now when you are seeing the video, <laughs> it's like going yeah. to be like a little bit harder. But yeah, just like plan ahead and have a really solid plan with okay, like how I'm going to build my audience, how I'm gonna validate my idea or my product, and yeah, then just start like crushing it <laughs> yeah, yeah start crushing yeah that easy <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so what, what what would be the, the the advice for people not to do in q4 man in q4 yeah i, I would say i guess it's it's very similar to gigas which is just like stop thinking about getting mm -hmm. rich in q4 and and think more about think more about the plan yeah and, and also man it doesn't have to be q4 man people think q4 is the only moment to make money but man, you can make as much money on Q2. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> if you have a business that only depends on Q4, that's not a good sign. No, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. if, if your business is, a, that's a good point, like a trendy products business that only mm -hmm. sells on Q4. Man, Q4 is two months, three months, but what about the rest of the year? I mean, yeah, people, yep. need to have, people need to have a solid plan to bring uh, income every single month of the year and Q4 be like a peak, yep. but not the only moment mm -hmm. yeah so so i would say my advice is like build a business where you can make money every single month regardless if it's q4 or q2 or q3 and q4 is just an opportunity to make extra money and even more money but uh only if you plan ahead dude with maybe two months one, one month two months that's great man. Least, yeah so in simple terms guys you guys have to plan if you guys yeah. want to make money. There's no way that, you know, you guys are going to survive Q4 without planning and not, you know, like having like a game plan to get even started. And, you know, based on what we have discussed, you know, during this episode, this building is the easiest way or the cheapest way. If you guys are getting, you know, watching this in the middle of Q4, it's the easiest way. Um, but at least for me, um, let's say like just to let's say change a little the conversation of people that are you know either either getting started or they, they have like a seasonal business in my case if you guys are let's say running your business and you guys want to scale and take advantage of uh, you know this opportunities for the offers the first thing that I'll say is just you know try to stay two steps ahead if you're gonna scale know that you have the inventory know that you can ship the products uh, because the worst part, it's having pissed off customers because that will be, you know, making the sale is the easiest. Yeah. Having a happy customer is the, the most difficult part. Mm -hmm. And I've seen from my experience, I won't say hundreds, but a bunch of people that have, you know, eaten shit just because they, they didn't plan ahead. Like you can get burned if, if the, the customer starts complaining because the product didn't arrive or the product was crap or they didn't receive the product or whatever can happen, um, you know, that can, you know, decrease your score on Facebook that can that can get your uh, you know um, payment processors uh, frozen or funds frozen shut down you can have your Shopify store disabled a lot of bad things can happen so just stay two steps ahead that kind of goes you know with parallel with with planning but just make sure that if you want to go aggressive you have the resources and you know what you're doing instead of just you know throwing something to the wall and see what what sticks because that's not the way that you guys are going to be profitable yeah mm -hmm. yes so yeah so yeah, yeah. i i believe nice. this has been like a really great conversation but um short i believe to the point yeah short to the point and you know we, we don't want to overextend this because we know that you guys have lots of planning to do <laughs> but uh before we wrap up guys if you're finding all this uh you know episode information valuable just go to the tropical gangsters call right there let's go uh we have we're two seconds two seconds <laughs> we're, we're, we're definitely excited as you guys know uh we're definitely you know um and planning and we're talking about this but most importantly we have a, a great news for you guys uh we are in spotify 
Boom. Yeah. Boom. yeah. It's so, cool, guys, baby. let's go. Number YouTube, one podcast. Spotify, Instagram, <laughs> number one podcast. In we're, the world. we're going for you, Joe Rogan. Be careful. <laughs> Beware, Joe. Number <laughs> one, three weeks in a row. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Another episode for the Tropical Gangsters podcast. Guys, go, thank baby. you so much for your time. See you in the next it. one, guys. See, See you. you. The band. All right, guys, if you found this episode valuable, be sure to go to tropicalgangsterscall.com to schedule a call with the Tropical Gangsters and see how we can help you out. Tell us which business model you're in, what you're struggling with, and we'll see how we can help you out with a personalized game plan for your business. Tropicalgangsterscall.com. Hope to talk to you soon. Peace. Peace. Boom.